Okay, so it's that time of the day. Before I get out of here, we're going to get some comments in. So let's get right to it. So Fummy says on the Nightwalk vlog, episode 21, the name brand height, the short girl still wants six foot guys because it's not how much taller than she is that matters, but how much taller than other men. And I think that's a very good point because it's like, even it, it, it all plays into that whole like social aspect of it right where it's like okay i might be taller than than her but because i'm shorter than other guys and even worse if i'm shorter than her girlfriend's boyfriends how does that make her look again i think it's just like uh it's just like having a, a android versus having an iphone if you have a boyfriend who's shorter than your girlfriend's boyfriends, that's almost like you have an Android and they have an iPhone or you're wearing New Balances and they have Jordans. You know, that's just that's just how it is. Hermit of Babylon says, thanks for, li thanks for listening to my song, man. Much appreciated. No problem. You know, I plan on expanding on the OC segment of the podcast you know, having more music dedicated episodes and whatnot. But you know, right now, my goal is just being more consistent with getting them out. And then once I get that down packed, we're going to have, uh, you know, we're going to focus more on like original content and music and shit like that. But uh, thanks for the comments. And haha, ha, what a story, story mark says, my specific theory on the very short girl's tall guy is that it makes biological sense for a shorter and physically weaker girl to want a much taller guy very short small girl requires an even bigger than the average guy to protect her because she's so physically deficient it's just a theory but i also think that's why a lot of tall girls don't seem to care about height as much whereas shorter girls seem to have even more preference for height this lines up with what you were saying around how five foot eight girls are usually okay with guys that are around six foot tall they don't need to take it to the extreme because they aren't as small or helpless compared to a tiny girl. But I also agree on the status symbol thing, which I think is a big part of it. Also, think about it from this angle. Say a five foot tall girl wants to have kids. Would she be happy with a five foot three guy and risk of having a five foot three son at best? No, she would want a guy with better height genetics to balance her own disadvantage out. But that's why I also think some guys have the wrong idea when they think if they're short, they have a better shot at a five foot tall girl when really that isn't true. Say someone your height probably has a better shot at say a five foot five girl than a girl who is five foot two in terms of height alone. I am like you though. I have stepped out of the dating and relationship game. Too much effort and risk for reward that isn't all that great. But watching this all from the sidelines is crazy. It is getting so much worse for men. I'm glad I'm just focused on other things now and got out of my past relationships without child support alimony i feel blessed bless it we are <laughs> i swear man i'm about to upload that new uh walk, night walk vlog about uh you know embracing virginity and whatnot that's, that's so true um but i think the, the whole thing about like like the biological side of it and, and genetics you know women wanting a taller guy to balance out their own shortness right because five foot with five foot three at best you're gonna have what five foot four at best <laughs> right you know but if you're five foot two and you're getting with or five foot and getting with somebody who's six feet tall maybe you have a son who's five foot eight five foot six something like that but what's interesting about this is why don't men really think in those terms that's that's the thing about it because i always said the only way i have kids the girl has to be much taller than me and richer than me like me i'm i'm taking a i'm taking a page from female nature because <laughs> it's certain things that women are just better at guys in but guys are too egotistical to realize and the whole genetics and hypergamy thing is actually very smart right because why should i settle for a girl who's five foot four and make a son who's five foot five shouldn't we be more selective too i know it makes it much harder because men tend to be more desperate but i think if if men held the fucking line and weren't so desperate you know we could we could make the world a better place <laughs> right instead of your son being five foot five because you're five foot eight with a five foot two girl you could be five foot eight with a six foot two girl 
and make a six foot son or daughter. You see what I'm saying? Why don't we think like that? That's what I'm saying. Nord Berserker says on the Ballad of Kendrick Brown video, this is awesome. Love this song, but the video adds another dimension to it. You got the feeling of it down. Of course, I made the song. <laughs> Thanks for that comment, Nord Berserker. Fudge Capitalist says, damn, fire song. You still neat, Chad? Oshiri says he works a part-time job now. He works like two hours a day or something. I see. Gotta make, <laughs> gotta make that hustle, though. Yeah, I mean, it's people keep asking, but... Yeah, I, I do like a cleaning a cleaning job for a cleaning service company or something like that where I work at different buildings throughout the week. Um, on average, I say I work about two I work about two to three hours a day, five days a week. Um, the pay is decent, but the best thing about it, it doesn't take up all my time. Thank God. <laughs> so Eric Williams says on the Shaman King anime review, seems like a very mild version of JoJo. Even comparing it to JoJo is not even... Don't even do that. <laughs> don't even do that. I would even say that. That is just... It's just not it. It's very... To me, it's very bland, very mediocre. You know, the only similarity is that it's a proxy battle anime, but it's not even close to JoJo in terms of style and, and quality. So, Jake B says, I enrolled into college now, but I'm pleasantly surprised to find out the college is 72% female. <laughs> that sounds so awesome. I swear to God, man. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I'm I'm firmly on the path of, of wizardry. I'm, I'm a straight wizard now, you know, 30-year-old virgin. But, man, I got to say, it's, uh, it's, um, I can't lie, I would... I would love to have to have been able to see like how I would operate it in a college environment, you know, where it's just is ton just so many women. And you know, statistics show that more women are going to college than guys. So damn, dude, it's got to be. Uh, if 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 you if you're like uh, extroverted and social in that type of environment, oh god, the sky's the limit. So, uh, Satoria Blue says on the Amaro remix, also, can you please release Space Love so I don't have to keep going back to your stream for like two months? Love Drill Music, my favorite of your album so far. Couldn't say hello, still number one though. Power Suit is a banger too. Thank you. Drill Music coming soon. Urshan Lookins, Look Inward says on the Nightwalk vlog, episode 19, War of the Sexes, when the barbarian is at the door, traditionalism announces his arrival. Look at Ukraine. Men have, to, men have to stay behind and fight because we are expendable. Women have a choice. Exactly. And you know, Coach Greg Adams, he always says that when the barbarians are at the door, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. But that's it's, it's like at, at this point, you just have to accept that that's the nature. That's the nature of men. That's the nature of life. You know, when during times of peace, gender roles tend to just fall all to pieces. But when it's time for war, that's when women want to be women and, and society expects you to be a man. Right. And I've even I don't know how true this is, but I heard a story about in the Ukraine, there was a male to female transsexual who wanted to get out of fighting in the war. And they were like, no, nah, no, nah, now you a man. I don't know how true that is. I just heard that. I saw it. I saw it out the corner of my eye while browsing the Internet. Maybe it was bullshit. But that would be so hilarious because, again, like I'm telling you, like, like what what would all this transgender shit shit become during a time of extreme war? You know, will we still accept that a man can just decide to be a woman all of a sudden? You know, what happens with Chad Marco? I'm sitting here all muscular and fit and shit. And then I say, oh, actually, actually, I'm a woman, <laughs> right? Uh, oh, oh, now you want to debate it? Now you want to have a conversation? Now you want to question me? What about before? <laughs> that's that's the type of bullshit I'm talking about. Because I, because I guarantee you, <laughs> I guarantee you, if it'll be a, it'll be a big difference between the standard set for what it means to be a woman during times of peace and during times of war. Right now, I'm sitting here a whole man, <laughs> but I can decide to be a woman just by dressing up a little bit, right? And people will go along with it. 
But if we in the middle of a war, they not gonna buy that shit. I guarantee you. They gonna say, well, get your ass up, put on these damn boots. <laughs> 